Well, Onana is now undergoing Man United Medical down at Carrington and remember, lots of fake stories were put out there and Fabrizio Romano distributed them because even Onana had not arrived at Carrington but he was in Manchester. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? Welcome back from the match preview of, sorry not, the match reaction. United winning by one goal to nil and after that game, Eric Ten Hag is going to hate to name a 31 traveling squad to USA to see it that we play against Wrexham, Arsenal, Borussia Dortmund and Real Madrid and then return to play against Atletico Bilbao and reigns that is it and how united is going to really work upon it into the next period of time so andrew onana is undergoing a united medical first story we are digging deep into the squad that eric and is gonna hate to name the players that's gonna hate to drop we are going to tell you why as well we're gonna hate to get dropped by the gaffer himself that is eric ten hag and lastly what eric ten hag is gonna hate to talk about the game of United that have gone high to win one goal to nil and he was impressed by certain talents. Now today in the morning there are stories bubbling all over social media that Andrew Yonana is undergoing his medical at Carrington. Fabrizio Romano, a man who was close to this deal came out and confirmed us that just to clarify, Andrew Yonana is not undergoing medical tests at Manchester United yet. There is some delay on the original plan, but it will happen later. He's currently not at Carrington yet. Again, no issues. It's just about planned travels and flights. Meaning that by the time people woke up in the morning to obviously go onto their desktop and practice what we call desktop journalism, this guy had not yet touched down Manchester because we thought that he was going to really arrive around 11 p.m. That is African time and uh, in UK 9 p.m. And his, and his flight was extended from 9 p.m. UK time or 9 p.m. Italian time to 10.45 Italian time. Meaning that there was a delay into his flight and obviously the flight delayed and never really saw him arrive at Man United in the morning. So... People, based onto that and obviously put up what you call falsehoods. But later, Fabrizio Romano told us that Andrew Onana update. He's finally in Manchester, in Manchester right now. The goalkeeper will be on his way to Carrington in the next minutes. Medical tests scheduled in one hour. Now, he touched down Manchester and medical tests were scheduled. And now, we've gotten a confirmation coming in from Lori Whitwell, a correspondent of Man United for the Athletic Media Outlet, that... Andrew Onana at Carrington today for medical. All going well, but some work to finalize visa. So official announcement not expected today. Once formalities tied up, Onana will join Man United on preseason tour in US. That is it. So, Andrew Onana, as we speak right now, is undergoing his medical. The second last part of his transfer deal. Because the last deal or the last... The last move is to put pen to paper for Andre Onana. And it all sounds well for us with the fans of Man United that <coughs> we might see close to two or three players with Eric Ten Hag on tour. I'm talking about the new comings or the new signings. Andre Onana is the one that is coming in as a second signing and the other one is Mason Mount coming in through to do the needful for the club of Manchester. So welcome Andre Onana to Man United. And I think his announcement is going to be very, very soon because he needs to be registered as a player of Man United and then he travels to America to join the rest of the squad in New York and Dallas where they're going to play some huge games down there. So Andrew Onana is doing his medical and we promised you that the results of his medical are going to be told to you here onto the Rokani, sorry, onto the United Matters channel when they are really out and done so that is all about Andrew Onana allow me show you how he arrived at allow me show you how he arrived at uh, Carrington to undergo his medical <clears throat> so that is Andrew Onana and that is the black van you know this van very well every time you're bringing players at Man United that's the van that really drives them and obviously drops them at Carrington and they're received by John Mata taken to the medical staff medical done and dusted and the player is made a United player so after that, let's talk about the confirmed United squad for the 2023 tour. Now, an article has been put out by the United website that Manchester United have named a 31-man travelling squad for tour 2023 presented by 
Snapdragon in the United States. The Reds beat Leon 1 nil in Edinburgh on Wednesday afternoon with Donny van Bink volleying it home, the only goal of the game. As with last week's victory over Leeds, Eric Ten Hag deployed a youthful squad at Murrayfield as United is returning internationals continue to work towards <coughs> match fitness. Those players who have been training at Carrington have now joined up with, one, with 15 of the Edinburgh group to travel over to the United States where we we'll launch our tour campaign on Saturday with a friendly against Arsenal at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. So, new signing, Mason Mount is on the plane as he continues to impress in a red shirt while Anthony and Donny van Beek return from injury in Scotland are also on the trip. One player who hasn't made the flight is Fred Rodriguez. The Brazilian has remained in UK to deal with personal issues, but he is expected to join with the rest of the squad shortly. Rhys Bennett and Terry Malasia have unfortunately had to miss out due to injury. This good blend of youth and experience in the squad, sorry, there is good blend of youth and experience in the squad with the likes of Casemiro, Bruno and Marcus Rashford fresh from signing his new contract, joined by several academy players. Youth, sorry, young goalkeeper. Redek Vitek is one of the four shortstoppers named in Den Hag selection with Dan Gore and Kobe Menu provide options in midfield after impressive performances so far in the preseason. Alvaro Fernandez also hits the node as does Omari Fosson, the forwards who turns 19 on Thursday in there for you now. The traveling squad has the following goalkeepers Nathan Bishop, Tom Hitton, Dean Henderson, Redick Vitek. Defenders Diego Dallo, Alvaro Fernandez, Victor Linderov, Harry Maguire, Lisandro Martinez, Luke Shaw, Rafael Veran, Aaron Van Bissaka, Brandon Williams, and Johnny Evans is not on this list. Midfielders Ahmad Diallo, Anthony Casimiro, Christian Eriksson, Bruno Fernandez, Dan Gore, who created an assist today for Donny van de Beek, Hannibal, Kobe Menu, Scott McTominay, Mason Mount, Facundo Pelestri, Jordan Sancho, and Donny van de Beek. The forwards include Anthony Hilanga, Omari Foson, Alejandro Ganacho, Anthony Martial, and Marcus Rashford. That is the squad of Man United that Eric Ten Hag is going to hate to name. So to it that they touch down America and tussle it out with Real Madrid, Arsenal, and so on and so forth in that side. Now let me show you the photos of these players of United heading to the US. That is Casimiro, obviously. That is Victor Lindarov into the mix. This is Facundo Pelestri. And I'm um, having Alejandro Ganacho, the star boy. This is Bruno Fernandez Borges, the captain of Manchester United. Ericsson Christian, a man who really danced with the Angels and really got back his life. That is Scott McTominay, uh, Dean Henderson, then Redick Viteik, another goalkeeper in making at Man United. Tom Heaton, this is Anthony Hilanga, um, Harry Maguire, a man who has just gotten stripped of the captaincy of Man United. And lastly, Luke Shaw onto the plane to the US to City that will tussle it out with Real Madrid, Arsenal, Borussia Dortmund, and Wrexham. That is Manchester United for you. Now, Fabrizio Roman has gone ahead and really put out a certain tweet um, concerning um, the exclusion of the United defender Eric Bay, who was on loan on Nice. And I was going ahead to tell us the following that Eric Bay, not part of Man United squad traveling for US tour, as is out of the project and expected to leave. Alex Teles out of the list. He's said to join Al Nasa once documents will be signed. So Eric Bay is one of those players that Eric Ten Hag no longer wants in his squad. And you really anticipate that after all what he said when he went to Nice, sorry, when he went to Marseille, there is no way he could return into the camp of Man United because. He said that at United there is favoritism, the best players are not given space to play, and he was really referring to how Oliguna Sosha treated him while he was at Man United and he favored the guy known as Harry Maguire, who was really decaptained or dethroned by Eric Ten Hag recently. The other player is Fred, not on the plane. I think they are not personal issues. It's all about Fred having proposals coming in from Galatasaray that United have gone ahead to reject. And West Ham is pushing, uh, the Saudi club is pushing, and I think in the next two, three days, we might see United finalizing that deal of Fred to that side. The other one is Alex Tellez. Here we go, was sounded by Fabrizio Romano. 
onto his Twitter account and that's why I always tell you that you should follow our Twitter feed because we bring you news that we cannot bring all out here every time. It sounded a hit we go yesterday night and I tweeted about it before I even went to bed and you now know that he's going to be an Al Nasa player very, very soon. And um, which other players? Andrew Onana, obviously he'll join after passing the medical and being announced as a new player of Man United. Now, Eric Ten Hag has gone ahead and obviously went ahead to blame his players as far as this game of football was concerned because we got close to four chances in the first half and we couldn't make them count. While talking to the Manchester United TV, Ten Hag said, we started with three massive chances. That is, the st that is straight criticism. You have to score. That was our problem last year and we have to realize that and be more ruthless. And... Uh, you know, sometimes scoring is in the DNA of the player. If those chances found Anton Martial or Marcus Rashford or Rasmus Hoyland, I think would have gone ahead to make them count. That's one. Two, because we miss a center forward like a person to link to onto the pinnacle of that attack, our play is not always the best when it comes to us attacking the opponent because we don't have a reference point at the apex of our attack so it affects us on both sides it's a two-way traffic because you can't really build up a very good game plan with Sancho because there are certain runs that Sancho is supposed to be making as a number nine they cannot make and he's playing just as a false nine and I think today had a very decent game and I've not seen people coming out and slating him as they did in the first game though to me I believe he played a very good game so I'm waiting for the game against Arsenal on Saturday where I believe Anton Martial is going to be present um, Rashford is going to be present and I think we are going to be having a different set of team altogether Casemiro is going to be present um, uh, who else? Bruno Fernandes um, Dalo returning Luke Shaw Ericsson so we are going to be having our elite team so it is that we tussle it out with Yasuno side down in MetLife Stadium and I think that's going to be great but criticizing those players for not to score goals is really right because a goal is a goal and we've seen even defenders score goals Anthony went for six goals in the Premier League last season so if at all he made it count today when he faced the goalkeeper it would have been a good start of him from India like you saw Donny van de Beek celebrating him scoring that beautiful goal as he took on the side of Lyon in Edinburgh so I think he really has a very hard work to do so it is that these players make it count Ahmad, Sancho and Anthony they really got the chances to keep them off and they didn't so we wait and see how that is going to pan out so I call upon your reactions for Andrew Onana undergoing his medical at Manchester United that is Carrington then what do you make about Eric Ten Hag criticizing his players for obviously not scoring goals today in the first half because we created the best chances in the first half and lastly, what do you make about the squad that Eric Naga is going to head to really um, pick as United goes ahead to fly to the United States of America to also it without with Arsenal this Saturday, Wrexham next, Real Madrid, and close it up with Borussia Dortmund. Rock and David remains my name. I sign out for now. See you later. And I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. My Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak, no. It's Barak Laufikum. I'm out.